Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I'm Venkat. In the previous videos, we have created all required database tables for role-based authentication in Web API. In this video, let us look at the ER diagram for those tables. This is our project and this is our database. You can see we have created role privileges, roles, user role mappings, and users table. Okay. So you can see there is a database diagram here. So inside your database, there will be database diagrams folder will be there. Right click on that. Click on new database diagrams. So I have clicked on that. And if you are getting error when you click on that new. So you need to follow this. If you are getting this error, could not update could not obtain information about windows nt group slash your username so i got that error just now so i have resolved it for that for that you need to right click on your database go to properties and select files okay here you can see there is a owner And here select these three dots and click on browse. Here you can browse. Last you can see SA, right? Select that SA and click on OK. And click on OK. And here you can see SA, right? So once you are seeing SA, that is correct. Click on OK. Okay. So then the database diagrams will work for you because that owner name would be your username. That's why it is not allowing you to create it. So now you have changed it to the SA so you can able to create it. Let me add the tables. First table is the user table. And the next table is the role table. And user roles mapping. And role privileges. Let me dock it. Here you can see these are the relationships we have created. So, this is the user table, and this one is the roles table. This users and roles are mapped using this role user role mappings table. Okay. And these roles will have this roles table will have every role will have role privileges okay that particular role is assigned with some role privileges that role will be assigned to the user so that information will be stored in this mapping table okay okay that's the entity relationship diagram er diagram is nothing but entity relationship diagram for role based authentication but earlier we have discussed there is a user type this one is the master data we forgot to create table for this so this user type inside users table would be different different for different different users right student faculty non teaching staff something like that so we need to create one table master data table for this user type I'll create that master data table in the next video. And if we create that, we can see one more table here user type, and that will be foreign key relationship with this user's table. Okay, this is the ER diagram for role based authentication. Let me save it ER diagram for role based authentication okay this diagram saved so you can refresh this there is a diagram we can open that we can see the relationships anytime okay we can also modify the relationships we can do if required okay so let's create the user type table and then directly jump on to the implementation of role based authentication
for more videos like this please like share and subscribe